Hello, you are watching In the Studio. I'm your host today, Matt Blake, and joining me is Katie Carnes of the Davis Downtown Art About. You are right. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. Ah, it's great to have you. Uh, so welcome to In the Studio, and why don't you tell me a little bit about Art About? Art About. Art About. Um, basically, it's Davis Downtown's second Friday Art About. Uh, it's been happening uh, since the 80s. The name changed about in 2011, but um, we've been hosting these art galleries, um, pop-up art galleries um, in our local businesses um, ever since. And it's, you know, rain or shine every second Friday. And we have about 12 to 30 different venues each month that showcase all types of art from painting to sculptures to music. Um, and it's just the best night. It's just so much fun and everyone should know about it and everyone should come. Yeah, and so, so it's an art walk. So you can yes. go from the different venues. Is there a map? Is there a way to know what else is out there? Yes, there is, of course. Um, and that's part of my job, basically. Um, so be because they're um, hosted individually within each venue, um, basically, my job is to gather the artists who want to participate, um, you know, give that information to our venues, um, and I create this map that you can find at um, any one of the venues. You can find it on our website. Uh, we, we make sure to post it and send it out through email. You are definitely able to get any of the information very fast. Um, and it's a self-guided walk. You don't have to go to this one and then this one. You can go to any one you, you know, want. Um, each one, you know, again, has all different types of art. So if you're only looking to see sculpture, then you can do that. And um, yeah, it's just a self-guided four-hour experience in downtown to kind of reinvigorate the downtown and kind of bring more fun to our community. That's great. And so it's a four-hour event. What time does it start? So it starts at 5 o'clock, and it goes till 9 o'clock. OK. Um, each venue kind of participates within their own hours. Mm -hmm. So like the Artery, they usually go from 7 to 9. Um, and they have you know wine tasting sometimes and snacks and whatnot. And so you can you know spend some time there after or before you've gone to another one You know at the Pence. Um, and we don't just do it in galleries, you know, they, we do it um, Crucial Vibes and Boheme, which are, you know, a Rastafarian store and a thrift store, you know. It's not just, it's not just these galleries. We're using our space, we're using our downtown in a different way to show people, you know, wh what is the downtown for except for, you know, seeing what the community is um, wanting culturally and with music so that's what we're doing you know we're just we're using every space we can to show off um, local art um, regional art I'm trying to get international people here um, it's a it's a really fun way to do things I you know always going to museums is like as a kid I was like oh this is what art is you know sure. and it doesn't have to be you know you can put it anywhere um, so I think that feels is kind of growing, so. Yeah, that's great. So these installations that go up in a, you know, say a, a non, um, uh, non gallery mm -hmm. venue downtown, does it stay up over the course of the month, or so is it just there for the night? Yeah, How's sometimes. That work? Um, one of my favorite places, <laughs> I always walk into places. I'm like, you've got great walls, you know. Wow. <laughs> and um, Three Ladies Cafe. It's one of my favorite cafes in downtown. Mm -hmm. They've got this amazing side room where um, they've just got these beautiful white walls. And so every time they have an artist, they just leave it up for a month, mm -hmm. and it changes the room. You know, it's it's change it it changes how people interact with that room and. Um, I frequent there a lot. <laughs> so I'll be sitting there, people are like, oh, this, this is cool art. This is different than last time I was here. But they mm -hmm. don't even know that it's a part of the art about. Um, so they're, they're getting to experience the art about without even understanding it, which is cool. So we're changing the downtown every month, you know, just a little bit. That's great. And yeah. so, so you go around and find these venues, and you find the good walls. Yes. Um, and then how do you get the artists? How do artists get involved if they would like to be involved? Um, I have people submit within our um, Davis downtown um, slash art about dash sign up dash 
up. Um, <laughs> so that's been the way that people have been submitting for years. I am an artist person. I have lots of artist friends. And so I've kind of put it out there in all sorts of communities, whether it was with the Art Alliance or just kind of connecting with our local artists in downtown. Mm -hmm. um, lots of Facebook messaging, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of rejection, you know? Um, but the, it's really just kind of going out there and seeing things. I've been going to other towns' art abouts, honestly, and just giving my card and being like, hey, we, we're doing this too, and we'd love to mm -hmm. showcase you all the way out here. Um, because it's important to kind of bring in different regions and showcase all types of things from everywhere, so. All right, so if there are some artists watching right now and yeah. they wanted to get in touch with you without slashes and dashes. The slash even, and the dash. How would they get in touch with you? Basically, they can just email me. I'm very responsive. It's Katie, K-T-Y, because I'm a real Katie. All right. Um, <laughs> not that there's anything wrong with that. But um, so it's K-T-Y at davisdowntown.com. Um, and if you're wanting to participate, you know, just say, hey, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. um, you're welcome to, we kind of encourage people to say, hey, if I, I really like this place, I really like their walls, <laughs> and um, I've already talked to the owner, and they're really interested in putting my stuff up. Great. You know, it's kind of taking the, the middle work out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's, you know, being able to communicate with the downtown, too. It's not just... It's just not me being like, yes or no, you know? Right, it's, right, right. Um, hey, we're doing this thing. Let's all uh, get together and make it as good as possible. That's great. Okay, and so this has happened since the 80s, and has it always yeah. been the same format? Is it always uh, sort of self-guided tours? And Yeah, it's always been a self-guided tour, free. You know, it's a, it's a free event. Um, there's always been, like, some sort of refreshments and receptions and music. Um, so not, not much has changed except for who started it was the artery. Mm. So the artery was the one who kind of got people involved to do it. They got, um, you know, the art center to do it uh, and just kind of a couple places around town, mm -hmm. not just in, to the Davis downtown. Um, but then the city took it up and was like, this is a great event for our downtown. We want to make sure that we're funding this and keeping this going. And so I think, now don't, I don't know the date for sure, um, but they took it on, and, and it's been a Davis downtown thing ever since. Oh, that's great. And so, and so is it strictly in downtown Davis? Does it go out a little bit? What, what so are sort of the furthest are, recent right, reaches? Right, there are some people um, that have kind of been brought into it because they've been doing it since the 80s. Mm -hmm. So they're like, okay, we can't take you out of it. So we have some outside of downtown receptions. Normally that's the International House. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the Basement Gallery has done it. Um, the Davis Art Center, of course, always. They have an incredible art uh, show every month, mm -hmm. no matter what. They're just killing it every time. Um, and Pamela Trukinski's Dance Studio um, are some that we've said, hey, you're in. <laughs> well, it's great. To, it's good that people can get involved if they're not downtown, yeah. but it's the second Friday and exactly. they want to see some art. Then. Exactly. Um, That's very nice. And, yeah. so, and, it's, and it's, there's no obligation. There's nothing, right? So if you're just out on a Friday and yeah. you happen to stumble into a place yeah, that absolutely. has some art on the walls, now you're part of the uh, downtown Davis Art About. It's true. I, I do walk around with my Davis downtown tote bag with maps, and I walk around and I say, hey, are you here for Art About? And they said, no, no, we don't. what are you talking about? And then I give it to them, and they're like, oh, my gosh, there's something free right now to do? Yes, <laughs> I will great. do that. And um, Or they already know about it, and they're like, yeah, I've been doing this since the 80s. <laughs> That's great. And they saw, uh, as one of your materials, you've got some uh, chalk event coming up this summer. Yeah, Davis Downtown, we're really trying to do a lot of new events anyway. Mm -hmm. um, one is the Chalk Festival, um, similar to one that is done in uh, downtown Sacramento. And basically, we bring in artists. The artists are sponsored by a business in downtown, and the artist does some sort of um, tribute to that, that sponsorship, whether it's their logo or just kind of the idea of their store. And so uh, we'll be drawing and getting these big squares and creating this big art um, mural on the floor of the Amtrak station this year. Oh, that's and that's going to be a lot of fun. That sounds like a lot of fun. Which um, we need artists for. <laughs> OK. And is that the same process? They just go online to the downtown mm -hmm, Davis? Mm -hmm. Um, you can find all that information and more at davisdowntown.com. 
Um, that is great. And then, um, so what's next? What, what other um, sort of plans and ideas do you have for future of Art About? Well, there's so many ideas that I have. I think I have too many ideas, to be honest. And I'm like, I got to hone it in. <laughs> um, murals, live, live paintings. Uh, we're really trying to get a children's um, corner of crafts, you know. Mm -hmm. um, that's something I really find important because when parents come, they're like, yeah, I want to go have my free wine and look at art. But my child does not. <laughs> so I want to have something for everybody at every age. Um, we started and are continuing to start to do like a late night show. We're doing that with Bike City Theater Company. Mm -hmm. um, and they're always bringing some great bands to the Roots of Happiness um, Kava, Kava Bar. Mm -hmm. I guess you call it a bar. Yes. Um, and so that's fun. So stuff like that. We're trying to really incorporate all age situations because not everyone can have that wine. Not everyone wants that wine. Um, and so we're just really just trying to say, hey, if you're a UCD student, you know, come and do a paint and sip with coffee at Phil's, you know, come do a late night show with Kava, you know, and you can you be 18, you know, mm -hmm. or I guess it's an all ages thing. Sure. Um, but it's, um, yeah, so we want to just make sure that there's something for everybody. That's great. Um, it's a really great addition for downtown. It seems like uh, it's something that everyone should know about, something everyone should do. It's just, uh, uh, again, they don't have to stay all four hours. Just go out and go to one venue. No, or, just just go to one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, it's, a, it's a really fun event. I myself have done it. Um, uh, and by done it, you know, I've walked to a couple of places and had a little wine. It's yeah. great. It's a great time. For sure. So thank you for everything that you're doing. Yeah, for, absolutely. For it it's happen. my favorite thing to do ever. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. Well, thank you for joining me on In the Studio. Of course. Uh, it was really nice talking with you. Really nice to meet you. You as well. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.